Welcome back to the Brocade Campus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Uh, in this episode, we're going to talk about virtual cable testing. So this is um, how to test your copper cables. It is not uh, for, for testing fiber. Um, that's optical monitoring. So this is for testing your copper cables. It'll tell you how long they are. It'll tell you uh, if it's terminated or working properly, if there's a short in the cable, if they're open pairs, um, if there's an impedance mismatch, etc. Um, so this is built into all the ICX products. The only caveat uh, is that while it's running the diagnostics, it will take your port down for a second or two. So don't do this on your uplinks where you know all your users are crossing and you can't have any downtime. Um, but you know if a user is having drop packets or you know um, um, uh, they're having communication issues, it shouldn't really be a big deal to bring that port down. Just you know give them forewarning, right? Uh, okay, so what we need to do is we need to run a phi. It's done at the at the physical phi level, um, <clears throat> and then it's cable dash diagnostics, and then uh, TDR. And oops, not TDP. And then the port you want to run it on, right? So uh, first, I'm going to run it on a port that doesn't have anything plugged into it. So we'll just see what that looks like. So then we do a show cable diagnostics, TDR, uh, one slash one slash 10. So this, remember this port is down, there's no cable plugged in, right? So port 1110, speed is unknown. Um, here's my local pairs, A, B, C, D. I don't have any remote pairs because the other side's not answering back. My uh, pair length or my cable length is less than or equal to three meters. Well, that's definitely true. Um, there is no cable at all, and um, uh, the pair status is open on all those, right? So there's, they're not terminated, they're, they're all just open connections. So that is absolutely what we should see in a port that's down. Okay, so we'll look at a couple of other ports. Um, let's look at 111. So each one of these cables is going to have something different going on. So this is just a standard, um, you know, nine foot cable, I believe. Um, and we'll see what that looks like. Okay, so this is working, right? So its speed is a thousand, so it's running at a gig. My pair A is connected to pair B on the other side. Pair B is connected to A. Pair C is D. Pair D is C. They're all terminated, so that's good. This is a fully working cable, and the uh, pair length is is um, uh, less than 10 meters, so that's correct. Okay, so uh, all good there. Now. Let's try um, let's try port three. So the difference here with port three, which we'll see, is it is a fully working and operational cable, but now you see a much longer length. So I don't know what that that uh, cable is, probably a hundred feet um, that's connected to there, but it's a, it's a much much longer cable, but it's still terminated and it's working just fine. So all the right pairs are are terminated. Um, so that's good. So let's look at, um, let's try port two. So this is a port that actually has an issue. Um, so port two here, man, it's, uh, we got big trouble here. So this port is not up. We don't have a speed for it. Um, and the, the other pairs are not answering back, right? And if you look at the pair length, there's a serious problem. So I got, I got unknown on this one. Um, I have open on this one. So this is not terminated at the other side on pair B. Um, pair C is pair D, and pair D is pair C. So these two pairs are good. These two pairs are not. They are a mess. So there is definitely something faulty with this cable. Uh, and then lastly, let's have a look at four. And uh, so this this happens to be a rollover cable. This is a console cable that I plugged in, but you have crosstalk, right? So these are all rolled over. They're all going to the wrong pairs. Um, so the so the link is not up. It's an unknown speed. Uh, my local pairs are not they're not reflecting back because the the cables are messed up all over the place. Um, so this is an absolutely not working cable. Um, oh, it does say here the length is, is, you know, plus or minus 10 meters. So it's not an exact science, um, but it does its best to tell you about the, about the four pairs. So 
Anyway, so pretty handy for, you know, testing if you have cable issues. It'll tell you approximately how long the cable is. Um, and if there's a problem, if there's a, a short in the cable, that'll show up. Uh, it'll tell you how far down that cable is, where the short is, right, or, or where the open is. Um, if the cable's broken, for example, it'll tell you if there's an impedance mismatch. Um, so any of those are possible. So pretty handy um, and, and built in. So where we used to have to drag a TDR out and, and run it on those ports, now we can do it without you know, ever leaving your desk remotely. Okay, so that's it for that. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for joining.